Here is H30, the brightest headlamp in Acebeam's portfolio. And this is the new Acebeam X50 version 2.0. Hello YouTube, flashlight enthusiast here. You cannot imagine how excited I am that after a few months after releasing the X50 that was so popular on my channel and I use it a lot, it was amazing flashlight, Acebeam announced the version 2 of their most epic flashlight. And here I am with the with this beast, probably first one on YouTube, showing you guys how amazing this flashlight could be. All right, so this one was sent to me by Acebeam for review. Thank you so much for that. Without further ado, let's open up and show you this amazing flashlight, okay? But before it, we have some key characteristics on the box. We have the version. This time Acebeam sent the correct one to me, the 5000K version. As you can see, we also have the high CRI 95 uh, version included on the box, not yet on the website. So I presume there will be the GTFC 40 emitter version soon. That's really good. All right, here are basic information from Acebeam and here the Acebeam logo, so no stats on the box. Let's open this up, this is the magnetic box, similar to the first generation Epic. All right, and here it is, the Acebeam X50 V2.0. Obviously, this is the flashlight itself, okay? It comes with the handle already attached. Down under, we have additional accessories, so lanyard and spare O-rings, okay? Here we have the holster, which is flattened for transportation, and inside we have the charger, which is extremely lightweight. Okay, as you as you know, the newer version features even faster charging, and this one can provide you with the 65 watts of charging. That's perfect. Additionally, we have some warnings about removing the seal from the batteries. Apart from that, we have the quality USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Last but not least, warranty card and user manual with stats already including high CRI version. So this one should be interesting, don't you think? 21,000 lumens, 2,800 lumens sustained with 95 CRI. Quite good. Also parameters include 6,500K and 5,000K. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. This is the included holster with Ace Beam logo on it. Uh, standard D-ring with Velcro loop and fixed loop from nylon. Good quality, excellent one. It is a little bit flattened, so let's see how the flashlight fits in this one with included handle. All right, so with handle it also fits, but it's a tight fit. Without the handle should be much better. This is the Ace Beam X50 version 2 without the handle. So to attach this one, you need the handle with screw, then push it in place. You cannot do it any other way. It's molded for this purpose. Screw all the way down as tight as you can, but you don't need any tools for that. Just your fingers should be sufficient. And now you have a handle attached. All right, before operating this beast, please make sure to remove the cover from the lens, much better, and also unscrew the battery pack and remove the insulation film from that one, because unless you do so, you cannot turn on the flashlight. Okay. Voila. All right, coming back to the flashlight itself, this one is just a beast. Look at this one. As I mentioned almost every time when I review the Ace Beam flashlight, this one looks like a weapon of the flashlight. And indeed it does. I mean, those matte analyzation, everything is well polished and excellent build. Like, look at those cooling fins right there. Definitely made for them for their purpose. And I'm, I'm glad they, they did use the same locking mechanism for lockout, so just hear this. Oh my gosh. This time the button has no trouble at all when you depress this one. They also added a valve known from X80, for example, to release all the build-up pressure due to the heat inside, 
we have a brand new handle design as you can see and indeed you might need that handle because this flashlight might get hot and I really mean hot okay here is the battery pack and the charging is a little bit different here so we've got some information about safety and battery capacity so to charge it you will actually have to unscrew the tail cap this time threads are well greased and excellent machined and hidden USB-C charging port in the threads so waterproofness shouldn't be an issue here we can see some information about charging we also have the indicator here and the reset switch here I didn't have to use this one but in case you need it it is there they improved the charging rate versus the original x50 so just plug in the USB-C charging source and now we've got red and red plus blue which is quick charge and when the charging is finished we will have the blue plus green LED so the charging took me around 1 hour and 15 minutes every time regardless whether I use the charger supplied by the Acebeam X50 version 2.0 or my own Xiaomi 65 watt charger I couldn't achieve approximately 1 hour of charging it is 1 hour and 15 minutes but it's still an excellent result judging that you cannot discharge this flashlight in such a time such amazing quick charging is marvelous but let's be honest this flashlight can discharge 321 cell in a matter of minutes it would be great to have an extension tube for more than just three cells inside for example six or even nine let's face it who would carry spare battery pack for such a beast ace beam if you're watching this please consider making a longer battery tube with more cells inside to extend the operation of the X50 V2. As advertised, it also does feature power bank option. So let's just plug it in and let's charge another X50 with X50. Here is the battery pack, obviously. The good thing is that it is interchangeable with original X50. So if you have spare battery pack for the last generation, you can use it just fine with this one. Again, threads are well greased, well machined. These are square threads, good o-ring. And here inside, we have everything hidden with this black cover and screws are filled with glue, not to disassemble the flashlight. Same here, single contact good screws everything looks clean and look at the reflector here oh my gosh this is just a beauty 8 xhp 70.2 leds in neutral white here for comparison are cool white emitters as you can see a little bit different color but reflector is identical I believe stainless steel black bezel looks really aggressive and tactical I really like the look of it but uh, as you see they also changed the button so in the dark I could really find this one much easier than the black one so I don't think this is necessarily a good change but it definitely looks cool all right let's unlock it and show you the UI the UI is actually identical as the version one so hold the switch to enter the ultra low mode then hold the switch again to access low medium one medium two medium three high and then low again obviously you don't have any memory for the lowest output so if you turn it off it will go straight back to the last used mode which is slow in this case and double tap for oh turbo damn this thing gets hot it's so blinding oh and not to mention the stroke mode quite disorientating and with this amount of light it will definitely blind anyone we've got nice anti-reflective coating and i believe they changed the anti-reflective coating slightly here's also the battery indicator it will indicate you how much battery you still have left three levels of battery indicator i wish there were more as you know if you have like 40% left you still have green and with this one 
that eats your batteries in a matter of seconds, it would be wise to have like, more like four to five steps of battery level indicator. Just saying. As you can see right now on the screen, we have slightly different mode distribution and uh, step down character characteristics in the new X50 version 2.0. So basically, what we can see is that Ace Beam got rid of the high mode from X50, which is 26,000 lumens, and left just 15,000 lumens as high, so that the difference between the high and turbo mode was much better perceivable by your human eyes. All right. We also got more lower modes comparing to the original X50. So we've got like 400, 1200, 2000, 3800 and 7500 lumen modes. But in the original, it was only 230, 650, 2250 and 6500. And also, as you can see, we got a little bit different step down characteristics. So not to leave you in the dark, the Ace Beam X50 2.0 will step down to lower modes after depleting the battery almost completely by flat stabilizing the main output. Remembering those numbers that I showed you recently, let's see what I've measured on my sample of X50 version 2.0. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. And this is probably the most desired Ace Beam X50 version 2.0 runtime graph you will see on this channel. So I measured 40,300 lumens at start. And then as you can see, as, as the step down is concerned, it is over 32,800 lumens after 75 seconds before the massive step down over the course of 25 seconds. So it gives you 100 seconds to achieve 4,345 lumens after the step down. Okay, just to remind you, the last version of X50 in cool white, mind you, needed 42 seconds before the massive step down occurred and hit the 3,800 lumen level after one minute and 15 seconds. So 75 seconds, it was already at 3 1800 lumen level while the new one only starts to step down from the turbo all right uh, having this in mind yes the thermals changed it did achieve 75 degrees celsius and stabilized the brightness around 4700 lumens for around 52 minutes and then as the manual says the stepping down to lower levels occurs to increase the runtime to overall one hour and 28 minutes so around one and a half hours all right that's crazy, really. Looking at the high runtime graph, here I measured 12,600 lumens at start. And as you can see, we've got over 11,100 lumens still after 7 minutes and 42 seconds, which is crazy. This is simply crazy. And then we've got a quick step down to around 5,075 5, lumen level while after hitting 63 degrees Celsius. So yeah, we have the stabilized level of around 5,100 lumens for around 47 minutes and then further step downs occur to increase the runtime to overall one hour and 30 minutes. So as you can see, it is pretty close to the rated manual. So eight minutes of 1,700 lumens, then five minutes of around 1,100 lumens and then 400 lumens for around 25 minutes, which is quite awesome. The medium free here I measured 6,660 lumens at startup, still after 6,000 lumens after 25 minutes, which is way beyond what is stated in the manual. This is just crazy, guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've got the step down to around 5,100 lumen level. Uh, the body did achieve 68 degrees Celsius, so quite hot actually. You might need a handle <laughs> and stabilized around 5. 1100 lumen for around 35 minutes after the step down obviously and then uh, further step downs to increase the runtime to around 1 hour 36 minutes so not a huge difference from the other mode again further step downs are pretty aligned with with previous results then medium 2 here I measured 3250 lumens at startup as you can see no step down whatsoever just before 1 hour and 47 minutes obviously and then obviously further step downs to increase the runtime to around two hours and 20 minutes, again, aligned with the manual, okay? And then medium one, as you can see here, I measured 1842 lumens, no step down again, we've got 
perfectly flat stabilization for around three hours and then uh, another two step downs to increase the runtime for another 30 minutes. All right, that is, this is low. Here we've got almost perfectly flat with some minor fluctuations. I'm not sure what, it ha what happens here, but uh, this is what I got. So 39 degrees Celsius and stabilized 1100 lumens for around four hours and 20 minutes. And then one step down off to 410 lumen level for another 25 minutes. So overall runtime is around four hours and 50 minutes. And last but not least, the ultra low. Here I measured around 375 lumens and start, as you can see the, the output increased over time to around 390 lumens for eight hours and 32 minutes. The body did achieve 34 degrees. So as you've seen from our measurements and runtime graphs, this thing is an absolute beast. I'm not sure how they did it, uh, but the difference between this particular sample and the last one is just huge. So I'm not sure whether they redesigned the shelf or, or just the programming, but uh, the result is just outstanding. Keep it up, Ice Beam. Let's go to the forest and see how this bad boy acts in the wild. All right, let's start on the open field to show you guys the angle of the X50 version 2.0 cycling through the mode. So this is medium free, high, and I'll double click for turbo output. This is just crazy amount of light coming out of this thing. Still has some throw to it despite shallow reflectors, but unfortunately they couldn't reach the declared over 800 meters. And here on the standard beam shell location, cycling through the modes again, so medium two, medium three, high, and again, turbo output here on the first plan, as you can see, it's just flooding you with the brightness, this crazy amount of light coming out of this thing. And definitely you will experience something like this first-handed. This is just unbelievable experience, guys. So let's just step it down to the low again and step up through the modes to double tap again for unbelievable turbo experience oh my gosh this is crazy and now the third person beam shots trying to show you different angle guys here still not on the turbo output mind you now i hit the turbo output this is crazy amount of light coming on this thing again i should probably start stop repeating myself but try not to blind myself by huge amount of brightness Oh, wow. All right, summing it up, up Ace Beam X50 was already a great flashlight with little improvement whatsoever. But with this bad boy, I mean, Ace Beam again exceeded all my expectations when it comes to compact handheld flashlight. Not only is the build quality superb and amazing as in case of most ace beams but the sheer power that comes of this flashlight and the sustainability is just incredible i mean i wouldn't suspect such a compact flashlight to be able to hold such crazy amount of light for such a long time and what they did here is just marvelous i really mean it so guys if you were considering buying original x50 but for some reason you waited then definitely check out the ace beam x50 version 2. they actually didn't raise the price by any dollar <laughs> so it costs us the same amount of money as the original one with vast improvements in charging waterproofness and last but not least the sustainable output and lumen levels so definitely recommend this upgrade to you guys this one is amazing so guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the algorithm if you're interested in this one in this particular one check out the link under the video and enjoy the ace beam x50 v2 just as i did thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one